What is going on, Ben Nation? For anybody who would listen, for any time you heard, I've been telling you, things were happening in the background that you would start to see, they would start to manifest themselves, and that they're going to end up leading to a nice price move. Now, some of you believe that, some of you don't believe that. There are a lot of people that do not like Ben Armstrong. They don't like him because, well, they give themselves an assortment of reasons. Once you ask them, what is it? Uh, it turns out that there's some reason. When you break down that reason, it's not really the reason. They just don't like him. They just don't like him. So, and that's okay because this is an attention economy and being able to still engage with those people. When we find out as people, we love a comeback story. So when we find out as people that there are people who will actively um, say things like the people say to Ben Armstrong, then all that does is it finds new fans. It finds new people who are like, wow, I can't believe somebody's being talked to like that. Let me check this person out and see why. And then they realize, oh yeah, this person isn't really the person that I'm being told. And then that leads to more and more and more people paying attention. Hence, uh, Ben Armstrong is at right around 100,000 subscribers in a down market with an attention economy. We're all waiting for, not for everything to quote unquote pop off, but we 1.6 trillion market cap. Um, th that's, you know, the last market cap to max out was about 3 trillion. And we haven't had an altcoin season. We've had a few good runs, but we haven't really had an altcoin season. So, and what happens when all of these pieces come together? Well, you know, that becomes the moment when you really start to see Ben shine, Ben coin, not Ben Armstrong. It's weird how I get to flip back and forth between Ben's. But the point is, Ben Armstrong, you have an opinion about him. There's no indifference that people actually have. And that's going to be a great thing for Ben coin and Ben coin holders going forward in the future, at least in my opinion. Now, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, the bell to be notified of future content. And let's talk about it. We're going to check price action. We'll kind of break down where we are, where we expect to be. Uh, there's never a guarantee in crypto, obviously, but uh, we should at least have that conversation. So we're going to start off with you know, the, the chart. And look, the chart does not give you the litmus test of what potentially could happen. You see this breakdown and there's two breakdowns that have happened over here. And this has been uh, people exiting their positions, well, three breakdowns, I guess. Uh, people were exiting their positions for whatever reasons. Uh, I think one of them might have even been uh, somebody close to us at, at one point. So, um, but that's okay because what you notice, and if you notice this, is during those moments, the buyback tends to be pretty good. Now, this buyback right here did not get a chance to run before. Uh, we got more downward pressure from someone ex scaling their position out is what was happening um, and continuing to dunk. Uh, then it got bought back up mostly uh, before somebody exited a position as well. But it's now getting bought back up and the sentiment is changing. So when it's getting bought back up slowly, you don't have confidence. You're not looking at it from, from that sort of perspective. But what you are looking at it from is, hey, could this thing start to really rip and start to really run? And could we get some of these big green candles like this right here? Well, it depends on where it comes from. If it comes from right here, well, then guess what? We bought that back up. We're back in that 5,000 range. Now, that's not where anybody wants to be. We all want to be at a much higher range. And we need catalysts in order to make that happen. What we'd like to see ultimately is a gigantic move. But in the near term, 6,000. 6,000 represents another point of big resistance here that we should be able to or have reason to conquer coming into this range right here. So I think that's the first goal is to get into uh, the 6,000 range to show something of a what, what you might call a recovery. Now, uh, because we are where we are in this whole trend and with this trend line continuing to hold us back and hold us down, this is long term, by the way, uh, that, that it's been like this. It's the launch, by the way. Uh, so if that's the case, then, then it would beg the question, like, you know, what um, you know, what, what does it look like for a recovery? Let's move that out here, by the way. And let's, you know, you can see that right kind of there that, you know, represents a little resistance. So what happens when we break that resistance? You know, that's the case. And when that happens, we get over this, uh, bounce around at this 5,000 and then start that move back up without the resistance that comes into play. Uh, now, of course, 
by the way, there would be a back retest uh, probably down in this range. We're not done yet. Unless, you know, some sort of huge capital moves in. And I don't know that there's anything like that that's just ready to kind of jump in. So, uh, but the the move would be significant and it should be uh, pretty big. I mean, it should, it should, it would have every reason to be. And then we'll start to get to, when we zoom out here on the daily chart, uh, we'll start to get into these kind of ranges here where we drop that zero. We drop the zero, uh, sentiment kind of picks up for a lot of people. And then we start moving into this 1900 realm up here. It's, by the way, uh, when we change the, the 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 DCA and everything on this, when we when we you know swap from V1 to V2, um, you know this was not a great number to begin with, but it's a nice recovery. So what we're looking for is we're looking to get that nice little recovery and, and at least bounce above uh, where we started. And we can start thinking about that. Why? Well, because uh, ben, Join Bencoin just finally made a post here and it says we're still hard at work. Be prepared for new Ben educational content, websites, community initiatives, and more coming very soon. This is letting you know that all the content, everything that we've been waiting for is finally loading and we're getting there. We're finally getting to the point where you're going to have some meat to talk about and to see. And it's closer than you think. It's closer than I think. So uh, the, the next question would be, well, what do we do with that? Well, uh, what we do with that <clears throat> is we come out here. Ben Armstrong embraces a community. Uh, that community is Pulse Chain, Pulse X, and Hex. And what he wants to do is he wants to spread awareness because here's the thing. Pulse Chain represents the very thing that Ben Armstrong thinks is important, and that's DeFi. If you followed Ben Armstrong for any length of time, then you will know that Ben has long been a Richard Hart and a Hex supporter. The people that were not were the people that were at Hit Network, now called Discover Crypto, and they worked diligently to keep Ben from talking about Hex and Richard Hart. Now, you know, you could say uh, that it's because there was the potential for um, the SEC to step in at some point, which, of course, the SEC did step in with Hex and um you know, that, that does create a problem. So it could be that they didn't feel or they felt that that was coming or, you know, something along those lines. Ben, however, did not agree. He thought that uh, this was a symbol of DeFi. Well, you know what's going to be another symbol of DeFi? Yeah, that's going to be Ben. So Ben is coming to Pulse Chain uh, for starters. And Ben is coming to the top 20, top 15 uh, centralized exchanges, not because it's the right thing to do, but because it allows for the trading of Bencoin for people who just want to ha have a bag because they're excited about what they see. The whole idea here for Bencoin is to make onboarding very, very easy. So when the Bencoin wallet comes out, that's the first step to make things a lot easier. To come to Pulse Chain means that we're embracing DeFi. Uh, as this starts to develop and as this ecosystem builds, then you're going to see a dramatic change. You're going to see a lot of different things that you didn't think you were going to see in the Ben ecosystem. And you're going to see a lot more from Ben Armstrong uh, about how we navigate that system and how we improve this whole DeFi community economy and where Ben, the token coin, fits in in all this. So uh, join me on this journey. So and and maybe just maybe you'll be pretty excited about it and might be a reward at the end. You never know. Uh, there's no expectation of profit, but there is an expectation of one heck of a journey because it's Ben Armstrong. So it's not financial advice. My name is Believes I'm Always Right. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we'll talk to you again very, very, very 